uh, Vice President for Institutional Advancement. This is the back row. Jose Perales, Vice President for Enrollment Management. Kevin Raley, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. As Simmons, Interim Vice President and CFO. Uh, Dr. Matha Thornton, Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Christine Burney, Dean of the Wegman School of Pharmacy. Dr. Anne-Marie Fallon, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences. Dr. Tricia Gatlin, Dean of the Wegman School of Nursing. Uh, Dr. Jolene Maples, Dean of the Ralph C. Wilson Junior School of Education. Dr. Carol Whitmire, Dean of the School of Business. Uh, Dr. Eileen Lindalta, uh, Associate Provost. Father Kevin Manera, Director of Campus Ministry. Dr. Marlo Washington, who is our Senior Diversity Officer. Dr. Beth Kiss, Associate Professor and Chair of the Faculty Assembly. Ian Klink, Student Government President. And Nate Driscoll, President of the Alumni Board of Directors. <laughs> 75 years ago, the Congregation of St. Basil had a vision to create an institution guided by the educational philosophy of the Brazilian Fathers and their motto of teaching goodness, discipline, and knowledge. Built on the well-earned reputation of the Brazilians at the Aquinas Institute and at the invitation of then Rochester Bishop, James E. Carney, Fisher was at its founding a place of opportunity for young Catholic men, many of whom were the first in their families to go to college. This year, the Congregation of St. Basil is celebrating its bicentennial, 200 years of dedication to service and education, a fitting time as we look ahead to 75 years of doing the same. For our pioneer class and earliest students, Fisher's founding represented a world that would be enriched and transformed by a curriculum that emphasized liberal learning, both for students in traditional academic disciplines and for those more directly career-oriented fields. These students would be prepared not only to succeed in life, but also prepared to help strengthen the fabric of the Rochester community. In 1955, under the auspices of the State Board of Regents, Fisher was awarded an absolute charter to grant the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Business Administration. In 1983, the Board of Regents approved another charter change for Fisher with an undergraduate in, from an undergraduate institution to that of a graduate degree granting institution with the addition of the new MBA program. By 2002 and three, the schools of business and education were created, followed by the schools of arts and sciences, pharmacy and nursing in 2005 and 2006. In 2010, Fisher was reclassified by the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching as a doctoral research university, now doctoral professional university, based on the number of research doctorates awarded in a 2008-2009 academic year. Since that time, Fisher has awarded more than 3,400 master's degrees and nearly 1,600 doctoral degrees. Much growth, innovation, and transformation has been woven through each of these past seven decades, bringing us to the present day where Fisher offers robust and rigorous programs at the undergraduate, master's, and doctoral levels and the benefits of a well-earned reputation. I am very proud to be a long-standing member of the board and an alumnus of this very, very special institution. At this time, it is my honor to introduce President Jerry Rooney, who will share today's announcement. Thank you, Tom, and welcome to all of you. It is good to be with you for this morning's historic announcement. Before I begin, I would like to recognize and say happy Juneteenth. Organizations and institutions throughout the Rochester community commemorated Emancipation Day over the weekend and Fisher joins them in recognizing this important day in American history that marked the end of slavery in the United States. Since our founding, we have committed ourselves to educating individuals from diverse backgrounds, and we look forward to continuing that work today and in the coming years under the leadership of our Senior Diversity Officer, Dr. Marla Washington. 
This is indeed a very special week on campus. On this day in 1949, members of the community were gathered where we are this morning for our groundbreaking on this site that would become Kearney Hall, the college's first building. Tomorrow, we will welcome the largest incoming first year class in our history to campus, the class of 2026, for the start of their orientation to Fisher. And on Wednesday, we celebrate the feast of St. John Fisher, a brilliant scholar and one who lived his life in service to the poor and whom we are honored to have as our patron. Nearly 75 years after our founding, I'm so pleased to share another major milestone in our history that will propel Fisher forward into our next chapter. Earlier this year, the New York State Board of Regents voted to revise its definition of a university, paving the way for Fisher to advance from a college to a university. We are now able to become in name what we have long been in practice. I am so proud to be able to officially share that effective July 1st, 2022, we will be known as St. John Fisher University. What's in a name? By definition, the name is a word or phrase that constitutes the distinctive designation of a person or a thing. But it's more than that. The name brings a story to life. It's the power of that story and the history of when that story began. So, what's an army? Tradition. Scholarship. Excellence. Goodness. Leadership. Service. Wisdom. Innovation. Knowledge. Discipline. Community. Home. Introducing St. John Fisher University. Achieving university status adds to our rich history of institutional achievements and accomplishments. Everyone who has been part of our campus community through the years has contributed to our transformation into a university. Our local communities, the town of Pittsford, city of Rochester, and county of Monroe have all played a role in our success as an institution, a goal that Fisher's first president, Reverend John F. Murphy, CSB, had in mind at the start of the college. Today, we are realizing the benefits of that community belief and collaboration. I want to thank Mayor Evans for his continuing support and for being with us today. I also want to recognize and thank Congressman Joe Morelli, Senator Sam Rook, Assemblywoman and alumna Marjorie Burns, Monroe County Executive Adam Bellow, and Pittsford Town Supervisor Bill Smith for their partnership with Fisher. A special thanks to Congressman Morelli for providing a proclamation for this momentous occasion. The opportunities associated with being a university are broad, and we find ourselves in this moment as a result of the strength of our academic programs, dedicated faculty and staff, outstanding students, exceptional facilities, success of our graduates, and the impact Fisher has had in the Rochester area and beyond. We are very proud of having been St. John Fisher College and look forward to what we will achieve together as St. John Fisher University. Looking ahead to the start of our next 75 years, our university status will convey greater prestige, allow us to continue to build our reputation and impact, and better represent the type of institution we are today and that we will become in the future. Fundamentally, we will remain the institution that we have always been, committed to delivering a student-centered educational experience focused on both breadth of academic exposure 
and disciplinary competence, and with the continuing goal of serving the best interests of our community. All past and Fisher, future Fisher graduates will have benefited from an experience that is distinctive and unique, one that has prepared them well for their life after Fisher. I often think back to our founders and the institution that they imagined. I wonder if we are the type of institution that they had hoped for all those years ago. On days like this, I can't help but think that they would be very proud of all that we have become, including earning university designation. When we achieve great things like this, we must remember all those who have contributed to our success. We are especially grateful to our Brazilian founders and to Bishop Carney, who had the vision to start our great institution, and to the many Brazilians who dedicated their lives to the success of the college. We are grateful for the legacy of our institutional leaders, including Fathers Murphy, Lavery, and Braden, and Drs. Pickett, Keogh, and Bain. We are grateful to our graduates who continue to make their alma mater proud in all they do in their lives after Fisher. We are grateful to our current and our future students for their belief in the transformational impact of an education under the patronage of St. John Fisher and for making Fisher what it is through their contributions and achievements. We are grateful to our employees, to the generations of faculty and staff who have dedicated themselves and their careers to our campus community throughout the last seven decades. And of course, we are grateful to our benefactors who continue to believe in our mission, support our vision to become what we aspire to be, and who advance our institution through their commitment, leadership, and service. There have been many people working behind the scenes to get us to today, and they will continue to lead us through the changes in the coming days, weeks, and months ahead. Beginning July 1st, you will see new signage and watch as our digital spaces transform. I would like to extend a very special thank you to all who have been and will continue to be an integral part of this historic institutional moment. As we look to our 75th anniversary year in 2023 as St. John Fisher University, we will continue to work hard each day to serve our students by providing a rich educational experience and a robust living and learning environment. And as we become a university, we will continue to revitalize and enrich our curriculum and foster innovative, innovative approaches to academic programming that extends our thought leadership to multiple audiences and prepares students to build successful lives of purpose. We will also continue to strive to move Fisher forward, renew our purpose, and broaden our impact. Thank you once again for being with us this morning. At this time, I would like to introduce Mayor Evans to say a few words. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Are, are you responsible for this weather? <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day um, to talk about St. John Fisher. I mean, today's announcement, I think, for many of us that have been in the Rochester area for a while, confirms what we already knew uh, about the greatness of St. John Fisher College as a higher educational institution that um, always has offered a uh, range of registered undergraduate and graduate curricular in the liberal arts and sciences, including graduate programs. Uh, and as my kids know, it's the place where the Buffalo Bills come <laughs> to uh, prepare for their next Super Bowl. <laughs> we hope. But today's announcement is not just great for St. John Fisher College. It is great for the greater region. I often talk about the Evans administration. We talk about the larger context. And it is important for all of us to think about the larger context. Where does this fit in Monroe County? Where does this fit in the city of Rochester? Where does this fit in the state of New York or across the United States in our world? This allows St. John Fisher to continue to be a beacon of light, hope, and opportunity for students that have that are, that are here matriculating now and those that will come later. This also puts Rochester, continues to put Rochester as, on the map as a place that is home to dozens, dozens of great colleges and universities. St. John Fisher is one of those universities along with the others, but this designation enhances that that much better. And I heard the president say Fisher forward. 
I like that. I don't know if that's something that you say regularly, but if not, you should coin it and say it all the time. I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> this makes St. John Fisher goes forward. And I always use um, the analogy, and my staff gets tired of me saying it, but my first job was at a hockey rink. And um, there was a kid that scored all these goals. And I went to him, I said, how in the heck are you still scoring all those goals? How are you doing? And he said, I follow the Wayne Gretzky School of Hockey. And those of you that might have been born after 1990, you may not know who Wayne Gretzky was, but if you don't look him up, he's one of the greatest <laughs> hockey players that ever lived. And he said, when Gretzky said, I didn't go to where the puck was, I went to where the puck was going to be. So this announcement allows St. John Fisher to continue to think about where it is going to be in the future. Because did you think, did you think that they thought 75 years ago that they would have a school of pharmacy or a business school? I'm sure they believed in it because this was founded on an on a, on a institution that had the faith. They kept faith and faith is always important. And I got good luck sitting next to the father over here. <laughs> Faith is always important. My mother said you always keep the faith, even if it, if it is as small as, as small as a mustard seed. We know how small that is, but faith is extremely important. And that was the foundation of St. John Fisher. So I'm sure the founders thought that this would one day be a university and be where it is today. But Fisher forward, this allows us to be able to think about a future that many of us standing here in this space may not even be able to imagine 75 years from now. So this today could be the first step the first step of many steps that St. John Fisher will continue to take to not only be the great university that it is, but the great university that it will be even into the future. So congratulations, Mr. President. Congratulations to um, all the staff, faculty, and students, and alumni that have made this day possible. We are very proud of St. John Fisher on behalf of all of the citizens of Rochester, and I look forward to what the future will bring for Fisher. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for those really kind remarks. Um, as is the tradition of events like this one at Fisher, I now invite Father Monera to the podium to provide our university community with a blessing. Okay. Father? Seventy-four years ago, the Brazilian fathers eagerly responded to an invitation by Bishop James Carney to found a college to serve Catholic men who have been facing obstacles to, accept, to access higher education. New College was to bear the name of the diocesan patron, St. John Fisher. Fisher was born in England in 1459. He was ordained a priest and later named a bishop. He distinguished himself as a brilliant academic at Cambridge University and servant to the poor as the Bishop of Rochester in England. He remained loyal to the church during the English Reformation, so was imprisoned in the Tower of London when he refused to follow the dictates of King Henry VIII. Fisher remained resolute in his faith, giving his allegiance to God rather than earthly powers. The Pope honored him by making him a cardinal in 1534, and King Henry responded by having Fisher martyred on June 22, 1535. Such an outstanding man of learning, servant to society's vulnerable, and man of faith was an honorable patron for the new college. The college was built through the dedication and generosity of local Catholic donors, but from its inception was meant to serve the entire community. As in all endeavors of the spirit, the new college was to glorify God by empowering human flourishing, especially mindful of society's most vulnerable populations. It has done so in ways that I imagine those founding Brazilian fathers had dreamt of, producing leaders throughout the church and society, but most important, by producing well-rounded human beings. And it has done so by remaining true to its heritage, the values and welcomes interactions across all faiths ethnicities, and races. This is a proud day for the Brazilian Fathers as the college we founded becomes a university. It is our ongoing prayer that the servants, the students served by St. John Fisher University will live lives modeled after our patron, lives of learning, lives of service, lives of glorifying God in all they do and all they become. And so I invite you to bow your heads in prayer. 
Let us pray. Lord of all creation and source of all life, you sent your word, your son, into the world that all who believe in him will have eternal life. We thank you for the gifts you have bestowed on St. John Fisher College, and we ask that you might extend them and add to them as we become St. John Fisher University. Send your holy wisdom to teach us goodness, that we might reflect you to all the world. Teach us discipline, that we might be focused on using our gifts in service to others. Teach us knowledge, that we might be equipped to finish the work you have given us to do. Bless all members of the St. John Fisher community, students and alumni, faculty and staff, donors and associates. Keep them safe in your loving care all the days of their lives. Give us courage to go boldly into the future, to soar to heights beyond the limits of today's horizon, and one day find union with you and all the saints in glory. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. John Fisher, pray for us. Thank you, Father. Uh, that concludes our formal program. Please stay and join us for a reception and celebratory champagne. Yeah, it's a good time for that. Uh, it's early. Yeah, it, it must be. Again, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, senior staff, and President Rooney, thank you for being with us this morning, and welcome to St. John Fisher University.